Okay? I'll try to make this all colorful. The opposite side of this angle negative 1. Because this is going down, this is negative 1. But because this is going up, this is positive 1, right? And because this is going up, this is positive 1. So opposite over hypotenuse is 1 over square root 2. And that's 135. Right? And then opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? And that's just a 45. Okay? So 45, 135, 225, 315. Right? So the two angles that work for us that are 1 over square root 2, because this is negative 1 over the square root of 2, and this is negative 1 over the square root of 2. And we're only looking for 1 over the square root of 2. So it can't be this, and it can't be that. That's why it has to be this, and it has to be that. So therefore, theta is equal to 135 and 45. Is that better? Um, a little better. A little better? I get confused. Like, the more I kept looking at the arrows and everything, the more I did, okay, never mind. I'm like, but, uh, the middle one. This one? Uh, this one. the other one. All these, yeah. yeah. The circles. Just think about it like this. From this one. Okay? So the hypotenuse of a 45 degree is always square root 2. And then this is one and this is one. This is one and that's one. This is one and that's, or this is one and that's one. This is one and that's one. This should have been actually over more. Or whatever. Oh, it's one more. Okay. Okay, so sorry about that. This guy should have been probably a little bit out more. And then down. And then this guy should have been down right there. Is that better? There you go. Okay. So this is one, that's one, this is one, that, okay. Good. So square root, or square root of two is 45? <laughs> or what do you say about that again? One over the square root of two is a sine theta, because sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, then theta is equal to 1 over the square root of 2. The theta would, sorry, theta would be 45 degrees. This would be 1 over the square root of 2. And then what I would do is go, theta is equal to the sine of 1 over the square root of 2, like this. Inverse. The sine inverse. Okay? To find the angle. So you always do that inverse sine. And that'll equal 45? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes, okay. Thanks, Dan. That makes a lot more sense. All right. There we go.